my YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Hello. Hi, Ban Ban. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so quiet out here. It's like a different world. Look at the silky chicken. Hello. Hello guys. <laughs> <laughs> One of them, there's a duck in there. Two of the adult fluffy chickens, and then there's a duck, and then there's two small chickens. <laughs> it's so soft and squishy, Bobo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys this is Christina Shi and today is March 18th um, it is day 32 after I injured my ankle it's a broken fibula it's a complete break <laughs> and I have not been staying off of it um, but surprisingly I heal very quick and I got another x-ray the other day and it's almost healed the doctor was very pleased to see the um, um, my improvement um, I didn't really use my crutches. I never used the cast or boot. I just limp around and even I even walked eight miles last week and it was painful but I was determined to finish it. So that was um it was painful. Mild pain. I can handle it. It was bearable. And then I was sore the next day. So but all the pain disappeared after one day. Now um I'm gonna walk do some walking around the neighborhood and towards the Chisholm Trail uh, where I live. Um, this is my, my new pack, uh, ULA OM 2.0. I just got it last week and I am packing everything that I'm going to bring back on the AT and i um, going to do a shakedown hike, I guess. But um, it's going to be flat. It's a neighborhood walk. But I don't feel like driving an hour and a half today to... Uh, outside the city to find um, a better trail. I'll do that next weekend or something if this if today goes well um, People are gonna look at me weird because I'm um, look homeless and um, <laughs> Look like a backpacker homeless backpacker um, I hope everything goes well. It's not too much pain if I do have pain I have a, a ride my friend is on call <laughs> for me to pick me up whenever I need to uh, I need a ride Mm, what else? Okay, let's go. Uh, let me turn the camera. This is where I live. I love my house. I have lived here for um, since 2005. That's 16 years. I live alone with two dogs, Bobo and Archie. Oh, I also uh, promised my mom that I would video my walk because she's a uh, in Jakarta, Indonesia, and in, uh, in a lockdown <laughs> by choice for over a year. So she's bored and she said, um, oh yeah, that will entertain me if uh, you upload a video of your neighborhood walk. I said, okay. Okay. I 
love this uh, this neighborhood. I chose it because um, it's all custom homes. No two houses look the same. I think it's gonna rain later, which is fine. I have my rain gears ready. I don't feel any pain right now. It's just some sensation, stiffness, and because uh, the new bone, it's um, a little bit bigger than my um, normal fibula. It, it's form a callus, so it's a little bigger, and I think it's taking up some space there. <laughs> I'm hoping to be back on trail um, beginning of June after Memorial Day, but um, I don't know if that's reasonable. It depends on what happened today, how long I can walk today. walking towards Chisholm Trail. I think I have another like 0.5 mile. I have walked one mile so far from my house. My uh, new backpack feels great. I still need to get used to um, having less pockets and compartments. Uh, with my Gregory 70 liter, I can be really organized putting different stuff in different pockets. But now, because it's ultra light, so it's got less bells and whistles, only one big compartment and then one pocket in the front and then two huge pockets for water bottle. Um, but it's, I shed like two and a half pounds from a switching pack. Okay, I have walked 2.1 miles and I have made it to the trail. walk on the grass to practice walking on uneven terrain. Plus it's softer. Littering. Oh, I didn't realize that I was walking so fast. It's only 31 minutes and I'm almost um, 2.8 miles. I guess I get my speed back. Last week when I walked 8 miles, it was like so slow. Uh, I think it took like 3 hours and 40 minutes with a lot of rest. It's nice to be outside again. So I guess I'm lucky I only broke a fibula. If my tibia had broken too, then it w I would have been out for months. Months and months. Might as well just restart my hike the next year. <laughs> I tried to take some rest, like complete rest, but it's just too hard. I'm so bored and I was like so sad. I wasn't depressed. Well, I can say I'm depressed, but I wasn't actually depressed. It was so boring, so I'm like, I'm going to do exercises. I think starting from like day three, I'm already doing exercises. My ankle. Now my, my foot has a full range of motion again. Just some tightness. Uh, because I twist my 
my right ankle it was like on plantar flexion like this and then outward <laughs> I don't think I have any sprain just that broken bone thunder so I stopped and put on my rain gear my new rain pants from REI and my heavy hands and rain jacket waiting to rain My ankle feels really stable. There's still some sensation, but it's not pain. If it's called pain, it's probably level one. Oh, that's the Petco. I used to take Bobo for uh, training. <laughs> First time I'm walking without Bobo now. Poor Bobo, he's at home, sleeping. <laughs> the road oh I used to play tennis there 10 years ago it's called country place tennis court So far I have walked four, sorry, five and a half miles and no pain. Uh, there's a slight discomfort on the hip, right hip, right here. I don't know if it's probably my posture, the way I walk. I, I'm so used to limping or compensating sometimes, most of the times, the past one month. So I need to focus on correct walking posture or it might be my new pack, I don't know. But it's not pain, it's just slight discomfort. And I walk 5.5 miles without rest. And in an, uh, an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> well. I think I need to find another way. <laughs> I'll go on the street. The waterfall. I was walking to um, get home because the trail got so flooded. So I'm walking in my familiar neighborhood. I have two more, two and a half more miles. And uh, yeah. I've been going up and down these sidewalks and my uh, ankle feels good. A little tight. I'm still being so careful. <laughs> but I'm doing great. <laughs> Adventure in the rain. I feel sorry for Bobo. He's outside so I'm trying to get home now to let him in. It's raining hard. Hopefully the contents of my pack stay dry. I don't know. This is a new pack. New uh, rain cover and everything. I hope so. I started around 10. Uh, it is now 1 o'clock and I'm on my street. Yay! Nine miles. Exactly nine miles. Uh, my uh, glute, my right glute, my hip, and my ankle are tired. But no pain. Just tired. I think the side, the right side is weak now. But this Friday I have a physical therapy. I just want to make sure that I'm walking normal again, not compensating or limping. Because I've been limping for one month. Oh, I made it. I'm going to let Bobo and Archie in inside the house. And then I'm going to grab something to eat. This is my street. 
That's my home. Home sweet home. Oh, let me get my key. Oh. Hi everyone, this is day one, minute five at the Hanging Rock Trail. Oh, mm. it's uh, quite a uh, ascend up to the uh, the start of the trail. Oh, oh no, we have steps. Oh, look, what, one kid already complained. You're too tired. Here we go. Here's the start the steps. Hiya! Uh, Kobe. Ready to start the steps, Kobe? Yeah. Okay. Michael's wearing a backpack with a 15 kilogram weight. And I'm, my backpack is uh, from Kmart. It cost me uh, $7. And I have snacks there, an umbrella in case it rains. And I don't think it's waterproof. And it's quite heavy. Okay, and oh, I forgot to wear my hiking boots today, so I'm wearing casual shoes. Well, we'll see how far the shoes take me. I might have to stop at the next town and buy a $200 boot, but let's just see how far it takes me. Okay. Oh, I love it here, it's so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful, look! Upstairs. Upstairs. My face is getting tired. Okay. I think Christina. Oh, oh, don't slip. 